Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source, I return to sender, all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. So we have someone that may not be able to come in and play with your mental, your emotions, whatever this is. There's a lot of conflict going on behind the scenes as you are... Focusing on your path, your purpose, your life, your business, whatever it is that you have going on. There's some type of conflict going on behind the scenes. People are not getting what it is that they want out of a situation. You could have had someone plotting on you for maybe a year, two years, five years, ten years, whatever this is. Someone got a group of people together to come up, form up some type of alliance. Someone was supposed to come in to give you some type of false offer. They're not able to come in because this is someone that's emotionally imbalanced, emotionally unstable someone that plays with other people's emotions a lot of manipulations and, and things of that nature so they know you're going to see right through them which means that they cannot come in because of, of the fact that you have this ability to see through people um a mile away this is causing conflict behind the scenes because something has already been dismantled for a group of people that has some type of plan for someone specific in the uh spiritual community they cannot come towards you to manipulate you because this is someone that I don't think they realize they're not able to sell what it is. Like this persona that they've had about themselves for a long time. I'm telling you, it's always been a persona. Someone presents themselves to be in the upright. And all of that is coming to an end. Because there are people around someone that's going to see the reason why they've been trying to do something. Or the reason why a group of people have been trying to do something or do you something. And they're not able to anymore. It's one thing, you know, when you're able to um, trick everybody, lie to them, and keep them tra trapped under some type of illusion that you are someone genuine. Someone may also be very jealous of some type of union that's supposed to come together or someone may be very jealous, angry, and pissed off behind the scenes because they are not getting some type of offer from either a masculine or a feminine behind the scenes. Um, Yes, two people are supposed to come together. I was trying to verify that two people are supposed to come together. Someone they want them to, like I don't know how to verbalize this. Excuse me, I'm trying to figure out. Someone wanted to be chosen over you, so they may have put themselves out there to a masculine and they were refused, they were rejected. Someone may have then went behind the scenes to do some type of ritual. Is that someone is using magic to get some type of love connection from someone but the magic is not working? You're, you're able to deceive people to see you in a light that's not yours when they are asleep, when they don't know what's really going on. They're kind of oblivious to what's going on. But once someone's a, someone awakens and they see you for who you are, they ain't no putting them back to sleep. You're not able to come in and manipulate them. So someone has foresight, knows the truth about what a group of friends have been doing, working together, right? They've been working together to cause some type of distress, to defeat someone, stop someone, stop options for someone, stop someone, stop someone from being able to move on and things of that nature. They don't want you healing. They don't want you seeing things from a higher perspective. They don't want you receiving your downloads, your communications. They don't want you communicating with your ancestors. There's a lot of betrayals that have been going on because of the choices people made. Uh, there could be an emperor behind the scenes that's kind of trapped in his mind, conflicted, confused all over the place, maybe pissed off because he has been pl planning something or plotting something for a very long time. And this is to block two people from coming together. You and your emperor will come together. This is judgment by the spirit realm. Everybody in the situation is buying. They're going through some type of karma, getting a taste of their own medicine, medicine, having a, a hard day, hard week, hard month, hard life hard year basically yes yeah, so they're not happy that things are going in the direction 
that is supposed to go in. So basically someone or a group has been working really hard behind the scenes to cause a lot of conflict, a lot of chaos, a lot of confusion about something or some type of union. But things are being balanced out and it has someone really pissed off. It said, no, we didn't want you to think about this. We didn't want you to look deeper into something. We wanted you to just take our words at face value. We wanted you to just believe what it is we were telling you. But no, someone has foresight now about everything a group of people have been doing to distort the truth. I'm telling you to distort the truth about who you are. They may have said that you betrayed someone, but your ancestors are illuminating the truth and saying that you have nothing to do with whatever situation is out here taking place or whatever they told this person, man or woman, about you. This is enabling you to move on while a group of people are out here here angry pissed up fighting there's some type of hot that has been put in an in an operation when it comes to a group of people and now they know a kink of source may be taking action to give someone some type of love offer in order to put this to an end you two may end up getting married having some type of contract together this could be like an institution as well that may want to offer you something pay you something uh, I'm trying restitution, something like that. They may want to come towards you to pay you something. They're trying to manifest something new because something is not going in their favor, whatever it is they've been plotting. Be wary of a queen of source behind the scenes that has been working with a queen of queen of cups to do a lot of manipulations both of them know now things are not going in their favor so because they now know that you two will be coming together will be abundant they're going all out now the burden they may not be getting any sleep or not at night these may be two practitioners just working really hard to block you from being able to manifest a new beginning or ending to a karmic chapter these two, the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups, are people that are very dark. And I don't think people realize, or the masculine or the feminine, the divine being in this situation, I don't think they realize how karmic and delusional and uh, uh, how much these two rely on magic for everything. The Queen of Swords is, I've said it in my reading, the previous reading, someone that relies on word magic, a lot of witchcraft, a lot of rituals faithfully around the moon cycle. She does her rituals. Someone is very articulate with the words that she uses to block other people's destiny, even the people that she's working with. And I don't think they know that. All of the deceit. You may not know how your new beginning is coming in collective, but just rest assured the spirit realm is protecting everything for you. They're telling, they're, they're wanting, wanting me to tell you that they're very uh, loyal to you because you've put in the work. You stay committed to your contract, your path, and learning the lessons that you're meant to learn. And so this is you, Empress. Having this brand new passionate beginning with endless opportunities coming towards you, you will be successful. And this reality has people burdened about your confidence and the fact that you know you're looking into things. There's someone behind the scene looking into things as well. Like you're out here confidence, communicating and saying what it is that you want to or what it is that you need to so that people have a higher understanding of a situation that has been going on. So this is leading to you having wish fulfillment, which is then leading to a tower to these people's options, right? They thought they have caused a tower in your options, your opportunities, your offers, and things of that nature, but it's not so. You are still out here with options at the end of the day because this is how the universe uh, destined it to be. These people have done nothing but martyr themselves and prevented themselves from having a good life, whatever it is they always wanted, what their intentions were. These are people that are hopeless out here, but they've martyred themselves. There may be some type of profit prophecy prophecy that came true someone may have passed away maybe in an accident from an illness or something of that nature someone else will be passing away and all of this is going to take place so that you can have your new beginning have time to heal take action to do the things that you need to do you're being told to listen to your intuition because someone is determined to destroy you behind the scenes they said over their dead body are they going to put in all of this work and then you just get out here and manifest a new beginning for yourself and just put an end to this chapter but guess what you absolutely will 
This is already a judgment that has been made, a decision that has been made. You may know it on a spiritual level, and there's someone behind the scenes that knows it as well. This King of Swords, I feel like it's a practitioner, someone that was sent to destroy your path or may have ended up falling in love with you. This is all about the works of your ancestors, the spirit realm, and all of that. Someone may admire you and maybe is choosing to move on, which is leading to conflict for these people because they're like, we hire you to do something. We pay you to take this person out. We pay you to end everything for this person. But this man or this woman is seeing you in this energy as someone that is very abundant, very kind, down to earth, humble, wise knowing, someone very loyal, someone destined to be very affluent, someone very, very much favor by the spirit realm going through some type of ascension you will be moving on with your life leaving these people in their mental imprisonment that they have imposed on themselves which has nothing to do with you they may be trapped in their minds about two people coming together you and a king of pentacles who is in the upright and finds you to be very beautiful hardworking. may lust after you a little bit but it's nothing uh dangerous or nothing eerie this is just like your Maybe your soulmate or your twin flame having a lot of desires for you and has chosen to become the emperor that you need in life and in his life as well and wants to come in to balance something out because he has a lot of emotions for you. You may have a king of cups behind the scenes, whoever this is, that's going through some type of loss right now. Someone may be living in a lot of regret, a lot of remorse because of how they treated you or something is not going in their favor. You could have someone that's been working for a long time to end something for you more than likely have you set up i'm telling you someone has been working for a very long time to end something for you and maybe they were about to take some type of action to have you caught up in some type of situation um but it looks like it's not going in that way because you have a higher understanding of the situation than maybe he anticipated so he instead of you <clears throat> excuse me you don't want this to come out instead of you being out here living in poverty, trapped in some type of karmic situation or relationship with a group of people, going through some type of karma that you did not do anything to deserve and being out here uh, co uh, collaborating with the wrong people. You're whoever this is, this King of Cups, whether, whether this is a lover or someone that you had a contract with, he's the one that's going through all of these endings because he's the one that was collaborating with a group of people behind the scenes against you, maybe telling a lot of lies. I'm telling you, and all of that has led to nothing but conflict for these people. And this is how your ancestors, I'm telling you, it came out on the five. Your, your ancestors um, are causing havoc in people's lives because they're just about tired of these people. It came out on five again. They're just about tired of these people. They, a lot of conflict, a lot of fighting, confusion, anger. Everything you can think of is going on behind the scenes because two people will still be coming together. Even though you two are coming together, rest assured that there are people still working behind the scenes to cause some type of hindrance in between the two of you. So they may be talking to the masculine to kind of manipulate him about you so that he can see you in some type of light that's not yours. But guess what? Someone is still committed to giving you this offer and balancing things out because they see you as a queen of pentacles that goes for the things you want and you're someone that's very hardworking, very uh, stern, like your character, your strength is unmatched. Someone finds your tenacity to be out of this world. And this is what's leading you to victory. And it has people living in fear, may want to take some type of impulsive action to interfere with your new beginning and prevent you from healing, prevent you from having this world full of wands with the person you're supposed to have a way block your victory, but you, they can't. The universe is the one taking care of a situation now, not you. And that's what these people don't realize. This devilish card keeps coming out a lot. And I keep hearing the word jealousy. So there's some type of relationship that's supposed to come together that has a lot of people jealous behind the scenes, especially a queen of cups that has been working really hard over time, breaking her back to make sure two people do not come together. There you go, honey. Justice balance is being brought in the situation. You will have what is yours, your abundance. You will live a good life. This is something you don't see. So these people can keep doing 
doing these rituals, uh, taking all these secretive actions behind the scenes, trying to defeat you, block you from uh, having closure with your emperor because you two will have closure in due time. This is what they're trying to stop. They don't want your emperor seeing you. They don't want your emperor coming in to give you balance and putting an end to this nonsense. So they don't want him seeing you in a fitting light. Someone is very disappointed that your emperor is out here and has learned some type of lesson he was supposed to, which has to do with him being practical, him, you know, evolving mentally, basically, right? Because there's something they've been doing for a long time that has to do with tempering with this man's energy, how he sees things. So there's a queen, a, pen, a queen of swords behind the scenes that has been doing a lot of word manipulation. It's like they have this man study. They know how he thinks, how he moves. Maybe he was someone that second guessed himself a lot in the past, was always stuck in his mind or something like that. But an uh, emperor has learned his lesson when it comes to second guessing himself, being unsure of himself, being unsure of the decisions he makes in life and things of that nature. And he is taking charge and taking the initiative to embrace this side of him, look a little bit deeper into people, especially this queen of swords. He is looking a little bit deeper into her, trying to find out what it is that she's about. This woman has been collaborating with a group of people behind the scenes to make something look like what it's not to prevent balance from being in, being brought into a situation to cause a lot of burdens. While they wanted you to be burdened, the group is the one that's burdened because two people are still coming together, will have success, will be healed. You know, very young, vibrant, eccentric couple that's going to be very huge. The Queen of Swords keeps coming out and the uh, Strength card keeps coming out, which lets me know that the both of you are people that are very intellectual. You may... In, if you're showing up as the emperor and the empress, that means that you two embody all aspects of the kings and the queens within the deck. And the both of you are very strong, very modest people, live in your truth, and you are unmatched. You are a, you both are maybe healers or star seeds, whatever this is. And the truth is being exposed about all the sneaky actions these people were taking behind the scenes to steal some type of new beginning, to uh, temper with your confidence, your energy, communications. There's something where maybe a match masculine wanted to communicate with you and people have been interfering with that but this is coming to an end which is leading to some type of burden and when it comes to a king of swords this could be someone who's a practitioner but he's under judgment and is going to have to move on because of the work that he committed himself to when it comes to an emperor trying to prevent an emperor from bringing balance into a situation maybe even trying to end an emperor with rituals magic lies manipulation there could have been some type of plot to take an emperor out so that he will not successfully end a chapter a karmic and toxic chapter that maybe for a long time he did not know that he was in but your emperor has learned his lesson when it comes to this toxic city this karmic collaboration with these people he may be in some type of relationship with a karmic uh, uh empress which is very unfortunate when the empress uh, has some type of like negative mindset, very toxic, karmic, imbalance, things like that are very uh, alarming. This is a woman behind the scenes that's burdened, worry, having a lot of fear and anxiety, feeling weighed down. There they go. These people are bothered because you are still receiving what is yours. It's like they thought they have closed off block stop all avenues for you it said hey she can't have that he cannot have that she can't have that he can't have that the only thing they can have is being stuck in this karmic chapter with us we're going to take everything from them and then at the end we're going to come in and give them some type of ridiculous offer and it's going to be successful and sources that now nah, we got a different plan for these two we got a different plan for this person you're trying to block they will get to move on master themselves balance things out they've learned their lesson this is an ascendant master you're trying to block they are going to be victorious because this is someone very practical when it comes to how they approach things i'm telling you someone very practical they plan everything someone there's a group that does not understand that whoever they're coming after is someone that's very practical they don't just move on impulse someone is not impulsive maybe in the past some of you were impulsive as soon as something happened you said let me go do this to fix it and you didn't really think about what was going on or maybe you didn't have foresight of a situation or you didn't listen to your intuition that's not what's going on someone is very practical and has learned the lessons has done the work to you and things like that in life and this is why they are moving on because the spirit realm has deemed it so and this has a lot of people burning i don't know who this king of source is that's 
burden behind the scenes. Someone has been doing a lot. He may be afraid for the truth to come out, some type of communication about what it is he's been doing behind the scenes to hinder your new beginning, to hinder your opportunities, your energies, and things like that, stealing maybe from your energy, like your your creativity, your innovations, and things like that. He's very afraid of you being able to move on. But the universe is going to give these people a front row seat to watch you move on with your life. There's some type of... Uh, uh, it's an emperor in this mix that's very karmic. If you're an emperor and you're not karmic, this is not you. If you're an emperor and you haven't been uh, ma ma meticulously planning against a feminine energy is what I'm picking up. This is not you. But there's an emperor in a situation that is just unhinged, very pissed off, very angry behind the scenes because he's been working really hard, collaborating with a group of people for a long time to take someone out, block their offers, block their options, and things like that. If someone... Someone is void of human emotions. This will, this could be like a king of swords. Maybe this is why he keeps com keeps coming out. This is like an emperor in his king of swords. He's not really an emperor because there's a lot of negative energy around this man. Someone is very void. Someone is under judgment and he does not realize that. He's under judgment for collaborating against you, trying to block your new beginnings and things like that. Be Yeah, this is someone that does rituals. This is someone that lies. This could be someone that's even jealous uh, of a union coming together successfully after everything he's done to try and block this union from coming together. It is just absolutely ridiculous what these people are doing. All of the actions they've been taking against you has led to nothing but a stalemate for them. They may be having a hard time coming up with a new plan on how to stop you, block you, trap you, whatever this is. And I don't know why a group of people are out here trying to block someone. I'm hearing energy harvesting. So maybe these people have been stealing your creativity, stealing your energy for a long time and benefiting from it while in the meantime, blocking you, stopping you, all of that. But the universe has decided that you are very beneficial when it comes to a, a grander scale because you're someone that's going to be very influential when it comes to other people healing and things like that. So whatever this family is doing, it has been brought to a standstill. They're going to have to stop doing whatever this is. It's very difficult for them to move on. They're not able to send someone in to gaslight you because you're someone very strong, very brave. Your tenacity is unmatched. You are being protected by your ancestors, the spirit realm. You may have someone maybe in the legal system that's protecting you, but you don't know for some of you. And this is going to help you be able to move on and have wish fulfillment in life. Um, there is something here about someone or just a group of people going through karma. And there are a lot of people about to be out here in the cold there could be a queen of pentacles that's about to be out in the cold uh should have known how this was going to go i'm telling you this woman is trapped in something having a lot of intense emotions behind the scenes very angry and pissed yeah i said very angry and then the knight of swords comes out someone's very angry and pissed off about how life is going on because there's something she has invested a lot of energy in and she she just knew things was going to go in her favor okay so the family the couple they may be out here trying to block communications trying to cause some type of steel maybe maybe this is something your emperor does not know so at some point your emperor is going to stop trying to communicate with you however way he's been trying to maybe Email is what I'm getting. Maybe he's going to stop doing that or maybe he's been trying to DM you and he doesn't realize that maybe the account he's communicating to you through, you don't have access to it. So you're not able to respond to this person. So there's some type of, there's something this, this family is doing to cause a stalemate. Uh, and it's been working for a long time, but it's not working anymore. That's why we have this three of swords over this eight of wands. They are heartbroken one, because you are going to receive this communication Two, you are going to be growing and accelerating. This is something they've been trying to block for a long time to block you from receiving your 10 of pentacles or achieving your 10 of pentacles, because sometimes you can be blessed with a 10 of pentacles that's passed down to you, given to you. And sometimes you can work most of the times you work towards this 10 of pentacles. So like, for example, you start a business and you work on that business until it becomes successful becomes a ten of pentacles uh in the instance where it's being given to you this could be like a business in your family line, bloodline or it's just someone leaves you something uh this is what these people are having trying to block you from receiving they're not able to do this anymore because you are still growing you are moving forward there's something that's about to seem like it's overnight like you're just going to go from being at a still made to just boom like just out there being seen by the world or just being very successful if you sell products your products are about to be being bought 
ridiculously like you're about to be so successful it won't even make sense and your haters won't have nothing to do but to sit down sit back watch the show we hope they have some popcorn some drinks or something maybe they can throw their legs up on a, on the arm of their chairs or on their tables or something drink a mimosas because that's exactly what we're all going to be doing on our side in the light working community is drinking our mimosas drinking our water drinking our healthy juices putting some beautiful things in our body and staying in that beautiful and grateful energy to the universe and continue to co-create with the universe now what they're doing on their side we really don't care if they want to drink mimosas kudos to them but i doubt they're going to want to be drinking mimosas when they see what it is that's about to happen these people are living in fear by someone taking action to come in and give you some type of solid offer um, because one you're already strong by yourself so if this person comes in and gives you a solid offer baby you're a danger to these people you're already you're like a this is something i always say you're like a menace to a society within a society so this is a society that has been, that has been cre uh, created just for you a quote to take you down so you're like a menace to this society within a grander society so basically they've done this to other people before and other people got so tired and worn out about what it was they were doing all the little antics they were doing to block them frustrate them and things like that and it worked and they ended up walking away but you on the other hand you say i'm content keep on going do whatever it is that you want because i already know the universe is taking care of it and by the universe taking care of it, it ain't looking good for these people because they're out here hanging like that dry meat we talk about on this channel. Baby, these people are being smoked. People are passing away, getting sick, losing jobs, getting divorces and things like that. It's a whole lot of fighting going on behind the scenes about a ten of pentacles. Mind you, that does not belong to these people. So this is possibly something you've been working on for a long time that people are trying to steal. You could have like a masculine behind the scenes that has been trying to force some type of connection, some type of attachment to what it is you are working on building or what it is that's yours. He don't have a hand in nothing that you are building, but he feels entitled to you. I don't know what someone did behind the scenes. You are not aware of, but they feel like you owe them. You don't owe nobody a goddamn mother effing thing under this sun. Your mother don't owe you nothing. Your father don't owe you nothing. Nobody owes you a mother effing thing. You are the only ones that owe yourself the due diligence to keep moving forward and generate and manifest the lifestyle that you want. The reality that you want. I'm telling you, mastering yourself. Learn the skills that you need to. Letting go of toxicity, toxic people, uh, uh, people, places, and things to master yourself. That is the only thing you are entitled to. You, yourself, and you. Okay? Your energy. You are not entitled to anyone. So these people cannot block you anymore. They can cry all they want because this is what... It's going on behind the scenes, a lot of anger, a lot of animosity towards someone that has done nothing to a group of people. All of this is out of jealousy. And I keep hearing this message. We're not laughing anymore. That means something was funny in the beginning. It's not funny anymore. It has gotten really serious. People are having to self-actualize out here and they're having to find their strength to keep going on. Just like you had to find your strength to keep going on when they were trying to cause you endings, right? Having you living in fear, right? Making you feel trapped, making you think that you're about to pass away, but and you had no one to support you, but your ancestors trying to keep you safe. They say, hey, we need you to keep your mind on positive things and pay attention to the things that we are teaching, teaching you or showing you. Pay attention to the signs and symbols and synchronicities around you so that you can achieve what it is that we need you to achieve. That means that uh ascend that master that is within you that you have been for many many lifetimes you need to become again this lifetime so you do your part let us do our part we don't got time to be out here worrying and things like that and you 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 you, you answer the call you say shoo it's a battleground they don't know it let's go we're all out it's a battleground so these people may not know that you already have been on a battleground before you met them some of these people don't know that you saw this a whole year before you met any of them. I'm telling you, you already knew. You have foresight of all of the illusions and things like that people were causing when it comes to you. And here goes this Queen of Cups. I'm telling you, there's a duo behind the scenes, a Queen of Cups and a Queen of Swords that are collaborating and working together with a family or a couple behind the scenes, possibly with a Queen of Wands as well to manipulate someone's energy, make them seem like something they're not. Maybe try to make them sound stupid, toxic, trap, 
uh, not abundant, something like that. But your ancestors are stepping in and say, you know what, whatever belongs to you, child, just know that we are keeping that safe. They cannot have a hold of it. Whatever belongs to you, it assigns you and will be delivered uh, to you. Okay, all right, let's keep on going with Ari. I just get a lot of conflict. Someone is crying a lot. I'm telling you, they're gonna have to start over. We have one out here. A lot of like worry. Just there's someone, there's a group that's in a lot of distress because there's something they've been working on. I don't know, it's like since 2022 or something like that. Like something started in like the winter of a year, either 2022, 2023, people have been putting some type of plan in action. Is there on this day, we're going to do this at this stage. We're going to do this. We're going to disarm them this way. We're going to set them up this way. You log into their system and do this. I'm going to log in on this day at this time and do this. They work from 10 to 6. So you log into the system from 10 to 6. And as they're working, you act like they're the ones doing something. You manipulate the system. Make it seem like they're stealing money. They're stealing hours, blah, 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 blah. They've been working very, very meticulously. Why have they been doing this? It's because they want to have you caught up in some type of legal issues that don't got nothing to do with you. Something that they've been plotting against you for a long time and it has been exposed, which has left to a lot of conflict behind the scenes, a lot of fighting, arguing, and it has these people weighed down because this means that what? Something is going to be balanced out. If there's a court case going on or that's going to be going on, you're going to be winning that coming out very abundant and even more confident with your ancestors by you. There is absolutely a king of swords behind the scenes that is under judgment. This could be a practitioner is what I'm learning or hearing. And he knows that things are not going to be going in the right direction. So he may want to start distancing himself from these people. This is a dark practitioner that's going through some type of karma because of the choices he made. Someone may have a lot of passion for you. And again, this is possibly someone they hired to take you out and you, they're like, hey, we didn't hire you to fall in love. Yeah, we know they're beautiful. We know he's beautiful. We know he's she's beautiful. That's not what we hire you for. We hire you to take this person out. Okay? Someone has gone from hating you, baby, to wanting to be with you, to wanting to, to share with you, have a family with you, admiring your strength, trying to figure out on how they can make you an offer and become well, a king of wands in your life, give you this ace of pentacles and things like that. And you just say, oh, no, you don't go from wanting to take me out to them falling in love with me. And then you just think we're about to skip to my load down the, down the yellow brick road and do what, have a family? I think not, sir. I think now you're going to have to take a different direction, maybe go and put balance into what it is you've destroyed because you and I coming together is not an option because then I'll have to sleep with one eye open for the rest of my life. Heck, maybe even two eyes open because who knows, you may wake up one day and snap back into your killer instinct and decide to do some type of voodoo, we, voodoo he do, she do, code do, we don't do because we are light workers. You may decide to go back to your old ways and just wake up one night, ah, push out in your chest in my chest or something no 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 no. okay we are glad that you woke up and you know the truth now that the choices you made were not the best choices and now you're living in fear because you know someone is still having their new beginning with their emperor or their empress but baby we can't help you don't come to no light worker talking about i want i have something to confess i know you may not want to hear this but i really like you i have a lot of emotions for you we do not care we don't care no we don't care okay so you're gonna have to keep that to yourself and go through that tower that everybody else is going through you go you all have been causing towers trying to block someone from being seen because this is a social media car you didn't want people knowing the truth about someone out here in the spiritual community that they are actually wise knowing and know what it is that they're doing, that this is someone that's very gifted, balanced and everything, that someone is mental. There's something where it's like a lot of you, you see Earth's, Earth, uh, uh, earth angels, star seeds, you see people and you think they're supposed to operate from their emotional aspect all the time. They say, oh, you know, someone is emotional. They're, you know, they're loving, they're kind. So they're going to make a decision because of how they feel. No, there's a earth angel out here. They're very intellectual. Every decision they make is because of them thinking things through. They said, if I do this, this is going to happen. This is going to happen. If I make this judgment, this is going to happen. And this will be the consequences of it. And there's also a star seed that gives 
that does not give two hits about what happened to you people. They don't care who it is that's passing away, whether it's your grandbaby, whether it's you, your mama, your daddy, your grandpappy, your grandmammy. They don't give two hits about who's passing away. That don't got nothing to do with them. So calling someone and telling them, oh, you know, my grandpappy has cancer. They don't care. They don't care because you all didn't care. There's a reason why your grandpappy ended up with cancer, and that's because you wish that on someone else's grandpappy or you wish that on that star seed in the universe realized, hey, you know what? Mm. Mary really loved her grandpappy. So we're going to take grandpappy away so Mary can know what it feels like, okay? Because since Mary wants Elizabeth to lose her grandpappy, we're going to take Mary's grandpappy away. Now Mary wants to call Elizabeth and say, oh, you know, my grandpappy is passing away from cancer. Uh, uh. And Mary said, oh, really? Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Mary, Elizabeth, don't be out here lying, girl. You knew, you knew, you knew source fit. I'm telling you, source fed you that information before even happy. You happy. You already knew grandpappy was going to have some. Yeah, you knew, you knew, Elizabeth, you knew. You knew grandpappy was going to get cancer because they show it to you in either a dream Either they said it to you, either they show it to you in some type of premonition. You knew it, girl. You knew it because, you know, when you F with source and source F's with you, you always have foresight of what the heck is going on, who's about to pass away, who's way down behind the scenes, who's out here wanting to come towards you to give you some type of commitment out of what? A lust with ulterior motive to block you from you know, achieving the things that you are meant to achieve, that you always know, source is always talking to you. So, Elizabeth, girl, don't be out here pretending like you didn't know. You knew you knew someone was ascending to the spirit realm. It was time for them to go back to the dream dream world so that you could have this new, new beginning and be seen for who it is that you are. Someone very gifted, talented, very skilled, and committed to your path. So whatever they were working on, baby, they can keep going for it. And your ancestors are going to keep going for exactly what it is they want these people to have. And that's nothing but havoc. Wreaking havoc. Okay, wreaking havoc. Someone is burning. It's like, I'm telling you, I am the real empress. I haven't been stealing from him. I haven't been stealing from her. I am real. And the whole time they're showing up in this energy. Is a girl, boy, what the heck? What you talking about, Willis? You do know that we know that you know that you, we know that you know that we know whatever Kevin Hart be saying. Girl, we know it's the truth. This sucker is being balanced out. You got a baby. Somebody out here, your your emperor is a whole king of cups. It's just for you. Okay, just for you. Uh, besides that, outside of that, just for you, baby, that is somebody to be fooling around with because he don't play. Someone is very spiritually gifted and in alignment with his purpose and his path. And he don't play no games about who he is and what he can do. So he has no ifs, ands, or buts about calling judgment in your raggedy life. If it means balancing something out for him or his empress, regardless if he has met her or not. So he don't care. You, you all probably don't even know. Someone is behind the scenes fixing the situation. Oh, baby, he is fixing. Fixing it because he has foresight of everything these people have been doing. So he knows exactly how to approach a situation. You all have been working really hard to block an empress from having wish fulfillment. And it didn't go in the way it is. You see here, all the lies you all have been telling about an empress being toxic. Look at her showing up in her true divine feminine energy. Living in her truth. Being seen as a healer. Someone in the upright Someone in touch with your inner child. Someone very skilled and talented. Maybe this king of swords I keep picking up on behind the scenes. He said he want to marry you. He wants to have a family with you. Uh-uh, sir. You, you don't go from, one, from wanting to on a live somebody to not wanting to be in a relationship with them. Where they do that at? Where they do that at, Mr. King of Swords? Baby, where they do that at? You ain't going no mother effing where. It's the end. This sucker is being balanced out. Stay calm, folks. Stay calm. Where they do that at? Nowhere. Nowhere. Okay, you got us mother having vote up. We ain't about to be fooling with you like that. Okay, we ain't not about to be fooling with you like that. You should have analyzed the situation from the beginning. I'm telling you, baby, this empress out here, 
Miss Sister Empress in the upright divine feminine feminine energy. Miss Empress, ma'am, girl, you're about to be out here living your best life. Don't got time to go back and forth with these back and forth with these cormics on any day because your time is about to be off the essence. Okay, okay. Now, divine masculine, seen to you, your time is about to be off the essence. My time is of essence. I cannot be wasting it with you going back and forth over things that does not matter. Are you signing a check for me? No. Goodbye. Okay. Two people will be meeting in divine timing. This is a king of cups and his empress energy. They will be taking action to balance something out, clearing something out so that they can have this new beginning together. Your emperor could be a king of pentacles, but baby, when he saw you, he said, oh, I'm going to be a king of cups for her. Man, I love her energy. She's very beautiful, very down to earth, very charismatic. A little bit too eccentric for me, but I like it. It's okay. It's a little different. I'm a little different. So your emperor knows that, baby, you're very eccentric, but you're in the upright. There's justice. Your energy brings balance into situations. Someone feels like you see him for who he is, and you don't make him feel weird. So, baby, he's coming in, coming in, communicating with you to tell you how he feels about you. He said, can we talk? For a mini hit, girl, I want to know your name. Oh, baby, Devin Campbell, it's kind of style. So stay calm, Divine Feminine, stay calm. It's about to be balanced out. People are going to have to be practical about, about the life choices they're making out here. They are not defeating you. You have defeated your enemies by the grace of the Most High because never feel that you are the one doing anything. You ain't got no power to make decisions in the universe. The universe gives you the authority. They give you the ability to make it, and they can take it away anytime. Always remember that. Be humble in life. So don't come out here with no big ego thinking that I'm all that in the bag of chips. The universe will be like, oh, really? You forgot who did it for you? You forgot? Oh, you forgot about us? Humble. Don't do that. Okay, so the universe is humbling people behind the scenes, taking care of it, forcing people to be practical. Your king of pentacles, king of cups is coming in to share with you, build a family with you. That's his wish. And it got these haters pressed. Press, 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 press. They are pressed. You ain't do nothing to these people. They said, we're going to block her ace of pentacles, his ace of pentacles. The universe said, you got us photo. They're still getting their ace of pentacles. We're going to limit their options. We're going to limit their opportunities. No one can talk to them. No one can work with them. People are going to find them to be very stupid and incompetent and universal. Again, you got us fooled up. Someone is very abundant and innovative, very creative. We're going to tell people that they're very lazy. They don't know how to do anything. All they do is sleep, eat, sleep, eat, and S-H-I-T 24-7. Meanwhile, the whole time, you all are sending negative energy to that person to weaken their energy and their strength. And the universe says, oh, we don't care about any of that. And again, again, you got us vote up. This person is determined as heck, disciplined to get to their destination. We already told them that they will be arriving at their destination. Okay, and we told them what energy they needed to be in. They needed to be real what? practical to have this abundance in life and that is exactly what she or he has been doing so you got us effed up you got us fold up in one and too many ways so they are balancing the skills look at you all look at you all this empress is coming out of the cold and stepping right into abundance and her her strength his strength, whoever this is, ain't going nowhere. Someone is going to keep defending themselves with the support of their angels, ancestors, spirit realm, and their emperor will be balancing something out. So I don't know what kind of legal issues you all were trying to bring to someone. It's going to backfire horribly. You all have done nothing but trapped yourself in some type of situation that's going to be, oh, I said trapped yourself, right? Guess what car came out? You, you will never guess, Karmix. You'll never guess. It's your favorite car in the deck. Because this is the energy that you all choose to embody, even though you're all worth so much more. Guess what car came out when I said trap? Oh, the one and only Mr. Devilish character. The handsome devil. Well, I don't find him handsome, but you know, some people find him to be attractive. But you know, the devil always comes very handsome in the full package that you want. 
just to mislead you, deceive you, have you trapped. You know you're supposed to be working towards your ten of pentacles. And he comes in with his sparkling white teeth, smooth skin, beautiful brown eyes or whatever color eyes, blue eyes, turquoise, whatever kind of eyes. Okay, hair all well groomed and taken care of. Maybe he's bald headed, got some dreadlocks or his hair is very long and wavy like Fabio out here. Baby, he comes up muscular, muscles everywhere, muscles for days, muscles for too much, too much, okay? You see him one time, he smiles at you, feeds you a few disingenuous lines, but you know he's handsome and stuff, and you fall for it. He says, oh my gosh, he's so handsome. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And then your pathetic behind goes and lay with him just so he can drop you the next day because all he came to do was play with your emotions. You dumb dumb. Yeah, you, you, you all better stop throwing your destinies away for freaking three minutes of excretion, fluid excretion. Learn to hold back. Nobody care how beautiful he look. Nobody cares. Okay, nobody cares. Nobody cares. That's why a lot of people have been stuck on the scene or in the same karmic cycles for years and decades because what they're busy out here giving their pack pack, being generous with too many people. They're the, the, the that desire to have that five or three minutes of excretion with someone overpowers everything else. So they will put their whole life on hold, lead to disappoint, leading themselves to disappointments and things like that out here hanging in what limbo because they want to go have passion. Am I speaking the truth or not? I am karmics. That's okay. You don't have to agree. We know it's the truth. We know it's the truth. You already know what it is in the spiritual community. We be knowing the truth. We know it's the truth. You don't got to tell us we know it's the truth or we're speaking the truth. You all be putting your life on hold because of you got options. Okay. You got options. You need to have options. You need to be like Kevin Gitz out here. You got six, six jobs. You don't get tired. Get on your Kevin Gitz. But you having six jobs does not include you going and taking a job from someone else or getting someone else fired. <clears throat> That's not what that brother meant when he said, I got six jobs, I don't get tired. No, no, no. He manifested opportunities for himself. Okay? He didn't go stealing from someone, taking from someone. But baby, we're going to leave that by the roadside for you all to figure out. Divine Miss Empress, Miss Lady Ma'am. Listen, your King of Cups is coming in. You two will be meeting in divine timing and getting the heck away from these karmic people. He is getting away from some type of Jizzy Bell in his camp that he's been stuck with for a long time. And he's awakening. Got foresight of everything that's happening. The endings, the death, the stagnation, the blockages, unemployment, divorces, separation, death, illnesses. Baby, everything. These people are about to go from celebrating to... What was that? What are those? Is that, sir, sir, please have... Oh, my God. They're about to be burning their way down. Mm. What was it? Yeah. Is the end of the road is very hard. It's very difficult. It's like something is very hard for a group of people as determined or as they are to end you, baby. You're just as determined and innovative, standing your ground. You're out here a battle queen. You say, you know where we're on a battleground. I guess no Fs about your feelings. You want us to care about your feelings? Someone's out here talking about, your sister don't care about how people feel. She just says anything. Your brother doesn't care about how people feel. He just says anything. What did you do behind the scenes, Betty? What did you do to them for them to not care about your feelings? Are we going to just act like that didn't happen? You don't want to talk about that? You don't want to talk about how you've been out here blocking people's blessings and abundance and things like that people's offer? And you want people to be nice to you or say nice things to you or keep your secrets on a hush when you're out here trying to destroy people? Oh, nobody gives two Fs about your feelings. F you and your feelings. You're out here trying to destroy people's destiny. You and your feelings can kick rocks and throw peppers for all we care. Okay? Okay, now, let's go ahead and uh, close this reading out because, honey, I don't got time. I don't got time. These dark workers are getting on my last nerve. Abundance for you, baby. Abundance for you. 
Someone about to be out here getting married, engaged. Don't invite me to the wedding. I ain't coming, but I'll be celebrating you all from a distance because you all know I don't like gatherings. I don't like being around people. Oof, I don't. I don't. It's just too much, too many energies, too many minds to keep a track of that this person is thinking this, this person is feeling this. It's just too much work. Leave me out of it, but congratulations. Anyways, let's do our little recap. Anyway, someone that's not able to calm in and manipulate and play with your emotions. As I said earlier, I like to do my little recap just to make sure everything I was saying was up to par and we didn't miss a thing. So this is us having a little details that we need just for the fun of it. I'm using my shoulders, people. Just for the fun of it. Okay? Someone's mentally, emotionally unstable that plays with other people's emotions, manipulates and things like that, unhinged, very disingenuous, out of control, out of touch with reality, very unrealistic about the goals that they have for someone else. Let me say that again. The goals they have for somebody else. What does your goals got to do with someone else's mother effing life? Not a god dang thing. Let us remind you, not a god dang thing. You need to focus on yourself. Stay in your lane just like that person is staying in their lane. Someone forgot to do that. That's why they're at a stalemate. Can't move nowhere. Having a difficult time. Having a new beginning. It's real complicated. Now they want to be out here crying, throwing temper tantrums that like somebody cares. Nobody cares. You can be way down as much as you want to be. I hear unsure of how you want to move on. We don't care. No, we don't care. Don't matter what you look like. And don't even matter what you wear. How many ring you got on your finger? We don't care. No, we don't care. You remember that song from The Princess and the Frog? Yeah, yeah, we don't care. That's your business to worry about. You don't got your mind fixed on the right things in life. That's why you're worried about all of those things. But when you come to the spiritual community, the light side, baby, we don't care how many rings you got on your finger because it can't do nothing for us. Source does everything for us. So all the little cute gems and stuff you have on your hands that makes you feel good about yourself, that's real nice. That's cute. That's cute. Carry on. Anyways, a sister, a brother, a group, they're out here throwing temper tantrums, going through a lot of conflict, a lot of strife behind the scenes, disappointment, stress, everything you can think of. There's some type of storm that's brewing behind the scenes. Everything they were trying to manifest in your life is happening to them. And they're angry, pissed off because while they're going through all of that, baby, the universe is taking you to the next level. It said, hey. All the way up. Nothing can stop us. We're all the way up. Okay, we are on our way up the elevator. And we are being cautious of how we treat the people that we see on the way up. The people that are around us on the way up. Because you never know what happens in life. You may make your way all the way up that ladder. And then something happens and you got to come back down. And guess who you're going to see on your way down? Those people that you were stepping on. Now you got to be humble. Humble thyself because your karma is not playing out. So always humble thyself when the universe is upgrading you. Upgrading you like Beyonce upgraded Jay-Z. So they say, I don't know what it is, what, what it's not. That's their business. But hey, they said it. I didn't say it. She said, let me upgrade you, grade you, right? She said, I know you be the block, but I'm the lights that work keeps the street on. So they both got their roles to play. You and your divine masculine got your roles to play. I don't know who this man is, but this man is a bad mama jam. And they better not fool with him because that sucker be switching energies like it ain't nobody business. And he's still in the upright. He said, oh, want to play? I can be Chucky or I can be an earth angel. Which one would you like? Someone don't play. He don't play. Ruthless but very angelic at the same time. So baby, anyways, your enemies are out here burdened about your growth, your acceleration, Were you receiving some type of communication, something being balanced out, you not being hidden anymore, you not being blocked because this is what these people have been doing is blocking you from being seen, being heard, being taken seriously like you should be taken, okay? Now don't be out here acting ridiculous like myself because you know sometimes my humor, my, 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 my comedy, whatever it is, my wicked sense of humor just kicks in and takes over and I have to embrace it because that is me living in my authenticity. Okay. But baby, you better be out here unrestricted, free to be you, free to live your life, free to do as you please. But because the universe knows they can trust you, you're not going to be out here abusing your power and your authority. That is why they are trusting you with this clearance that like you about to have clearance into the spirit realm and into places on this planet that most people will never have access to i'm also being told to tell someone you're about to be traveling the world your feet 
will touch many countries is what I'm being told to tell you. You are absolutely going to be abundant. You are already abundant. Okay. So whatever offer someone is coming in to give you, if it does not feel right, don't force it. If it does not fit, let it fly. It's what we say in the spiritual community. Do not force it to resonate. Right. Anyways, Someone is just upset. What, what are they upset about? Because you are still in this impressed energy. Someone has been trying or a group of people have been trying to steal your abundance, steal your energy, get you out of balance. They, they want you to be seen as someone that is unhinged, like an unhinged creature, unfit to be married, unfit to be loved, unfit to be taken seriously, unfit to be seen as someone intellectual, someone modest. But baby, look at you. Subtle majesty. How do you do your majesty? Anyways, it's that whatever you are, honey, people don't got to look twice to see it. They just see it because it's just there. Because the universe said, uh-uh, uh, we did that, we did that. Don't try us. Don't try us. Betty, I said, don't try us. Billy, don't try us. So, baby, people don't got to look at you twice to realize that you are unimpressed. The people that don't see you are the dark workers. Those envious ones that are in competition with everybody and got to prove that they are the impress. They know what an impress is. It's somebody behind the scenes that's pissed off because people are seeing you as an impress or an emperor. He's like, no, I'm telling you, it's a lie. He or she is misrepresenting themselves because someone has an idea of what an empress is or an emperor is. And maybe you don't fit that idea and you don't give two hits whether or not you fit that idea. So they're out here determined to get people to see you as someone that is in the reverse, someone that is unbalanced, imbalanced, mentally unstable. The whole time they're tempering with your energy behind the scenes, stealing from you, blocking you, lying on you, defaming you. And they assume that out of them doing all of those things against you, you are going to come out here with that five of wands energy, three of swords energy, knight of cups energy, two of swords energy. No, baby girl, you showed up as an empress. You said an empress. I am an empress. I shall remain. And it's pissing someone off because people are seeing the truth about you. So, oh, okay, that is a true empress. They're just a little eccentric, like myself over here, just a little bit eccentric. Living in their truth, being who it is that they are, who they're supposed to be. Listen, we ask for that. There's people in your in, in the community now that F's with you. Okay, they say, you know what? I F's with that. They're, they're, they're good people. I like them. A little bit on the wild side when it comes to thinking. But I like that. They live in their truth. So, baby, your, some of your enemies are struggling out here. The emotionally imbalanced one, they just refuse to see things for what it is and to accept defeat. They want to keep going. And people are just bombastic, side eyeing them like the universe and your ancestors and your angels have been bombastic, side eyeing them. Say, bombastic, side eye. Criminal offensive, side eye. Bombastic, side eye, criminal, offensive, side eye. Baby, they, they've been giving that person their look for a long time. They said, you better not try us. If you do, we go wreck havoc in your life. And that's what they're doing in somebody's life. Anyways, balance justice is being brought into this situation. There could be like a lawyer or a judge in the situation that knows the truth is maybe sending some type of communication to someone. It's going to be good news about you having some type of new beginning in life or getting what is yours. You being abundant, self-sufficient. I hear something saying, someone saying, no, she's too independent. He's too independent. Their will is too strong to break. We won't be able to break this person. Baby, that's that's a good news. Hallelujah. Praise the spirit realm. They couldn't break you because they've been able to break a lot of light workers in the past. But someone said, no, 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 no. This is this person's true energy. When they meet you, you're in this energy. And then when they try you, you show up like as like a, a, a avenger. You know, like the knight of swords energy. You say, I wish your mother ever would. Like step on my toes. I step on your toes too. And if that makes you think that I'm not an earth angel, then oh well. But you ain't gonna be stepping on my toes repeatedly and just think I'm about to be sitting here and just taking it and taking it and taking it. Nah, 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 nah. This ain't no fresh meat kind of situation. Okay. Anyways. You go have a law official that's communicating some type of good news. It has people burning. They say, hey, this work is genuine. This person is genuine. You can't sue someone 
for who they are, for what's theirs. It don't belong to you. This is genuine. This the courts are looking into something. Someone tried to take something that didn't belong to them, and it's gonna be given back to who it belongs to, or it's gonna be given to who it belongs to. It said, hey, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna listen. We thought you own this we thought it belonged to you maybe we made an agreement with you before that we would give it to you but no 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 no. okay we're looking farther in this because two and two and adding up maybe people have been trying to hide you all so that people don't see you and know that you are alive like Celine Dion said I'm alive okay you are alive I am alive myself they've been telling people that we are dead out here or we're incompetent, retarded, and things like that, so that we don't get what's ours. Listen, what? Listen, 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 Linda, Linda, Linda. Listen, you ain't listening, Linda. We get what's ours. Okay, we get what's ours because we worked hard for it. You may not see the work we do or the work we did behind the scenes, but we put in the work, so we is gonna get what's ours, and we is gonna have that new beginning, Linda. Linda, listen. Listen, Linda. This is why we can't talk to you. We tell Grandma everything because Grandma listens. That would be the court system. The court system is listening. So, Linda, since you don't want to listen, we're going to tell the court system, listen, this here is ours. We want it. We didn't give anyone permission to have it. We didn't share it with anyone. It's not called on. This is a sole proprietary property. Whatever it is, it's sole proprietary. Okay? It ain't no business alliance, business partnership. Ain't nobody help us get to anything. We worked hard. And if someone left us something, then it's just ours. We ain't out here wanting to share it with Billy and Millie, Melissa, Elizabeth. We don't know them. We don't fool with them. Okay? No. And we're not out here being uh, uh, egotistical, overindulging, uh, so financially motivated nothing give us what's ours so we can live our humble life and make the changes in the world in the lives of the people that we have been assigned to make those changes for anyways the people are fighting this conflict behind the scenes because what they were planning to defeat you but source has stepped in and said i think not this has gone on too long it is time to throw in the white flag seize fire seize fire okay you gotta seize fire because this has gotten out of hand okay you're gonna have to move on now family look, look listen family Whoever this family is that has been so determined to destroy someone and block them from being able to move on with their life. Because they've been doing this to a lot of light workers. Baby, you are going to have to seize fire. Seize fire. Hey, it's a broom here. Sweep the animosity away. Sweep the disappointment away and move on. Get past that. Because uh, since you're sweeping that direction... You're going to get to have to pass by or pass through the disappointment. But you'll get through it and you will be on your way. And hopefully you'll put in the work for what it is that you want in life. Because whoever it is you are trying to disturb and end, they have a lot to offer to the world and the universe. F's with them day and night, 24-7, around the clock surveillance is on this person. So you can do all your spying, secret cameras, invasion of privacy, putting things in people's homes to listen to their conversations and things like that. They know. And the court system is going to know too. Anyways, whoever you're coming after, they have the key. They are the key. This is why you cannot steal their destiny because you're trying to take something that is embedded within somebody. Okay, this is why it's so difficult. You, there's something where a group of people that do some type of ritual or someone does a ritual at night to steal from someone's energy. And then when that person wakes up in the morning, <clears throat> it's like nothing ever happened. It's like, what the F is going on? I took everything from them last night. You were under an illusion. With that said, I'll see you in my next read, folks. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Goodbye for now.